G'day, fellas, and welcome to game number two of your Outback Octagon 2 Grand Finals. We are here. We finally made it. Welcome to Tasmania. Sporting in on the west side of the map. In the color purple and color pink. We saw best friends until the end in the last game, and it seems like they have made their beds already. Now it's time to sleep in it. Representing Izzy Esports. Playing as the Ottomans. In the color purple, it's Marine Lord. And his best friend and buddy in the color pink. Playing as the Mongols. It's Puppy Paw. Well, this is going to be a fun game for these two, it seems. Uh, he cancels the TC. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. It is a classic case of who has got the bigger cojones. And today it looks like Marine Lord is an absolute bull. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, on the north of the map, in the color yellow, playing as the Delhi Sultan and drawing the short straw, it is Beastie Cutie. Looks like he's got a pretty good spawn up here, though. To his south, in the color orange, playing as the Abbasid Dynasty once again. Dot Artie. In the color red, playing as the French. Salami. In the south, towards the center of the map, Playing in the color green. As the Marlians. Wham! And two blue players spawning, but a town center apart, but a screen apart. And a tanned on the Ottomans. Burke on the Ottomans. And. Our last player for the game, we've already introduced him, but seeing as he didn't have a town center, or rather, since his town center was canceled, in the color pink, playing as the Mongols, it's Puppy Paw. He's back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number two of your grand finals for the Outback Octagon. If you're wondering how this works, let me explain it. Game number one, it's already happened. So if you don't want to get spoiled for what happened in that, go back and watch it, because I'm about to spoil it. We got five games in the grand final series. Everybody's points reverted back to zero at the beginning. And now we start counting from zero all the way up to, well, let's take a look and see exactly where we're up to. We'll follow along with this scout in the north. So the the table that you're looking at will not be in order of the highest points. Instead, you're just going to be looking at the names. They will be consistent. They're in alphabetical order. So if you've got a favorite, you can look out for them. So from the first game, we've got Don Adi on eight points. Puppy Paw picked up three points. One point went to Salami and one point went to Wham. Marine Lord, Urk, Beastie, and Anatand all went without scoring in the first game. But they will be looking to convert in the second game. So, not sorted by points. I know it's a little bit harder to read, but uh, I tell you what makes it a little bit easier on me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the most uh, gifted when it comes to navigating the, uh, the interwebs. Uh, not, not that that, not, not that you need to know how to use the interwebs uh, to use Excel, but I didn't want to use Excel. I said, you know what, we're a little bit more fancy. We're a little bit more fancy. So, <laughs> you know what they say? It's the classic developer line. Uh, you know, th this is what happens when you let sales uh, lead you, you <laughs> lead your company. Uh, everything looks great. Whether it works or not, that is a different question. And for us, it looks great. You know, have a look at that. Whoa, whoa, look at the colors. And it's like, it's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely terrible. Anyway, we are diving in. This is game number two. We're on Tasmania. Let's take a look at how water is going for these players. Beastie already on the water. Great to see him up towards this north side. Don Arty also going to be opening uh, with water. We can see him just with the single dock for the moment. Obviously playing the Abbasid, a little bit cheaper docks that he can work with. But he's not the only Civ with cheaper docks in the game. Of course, down towards the south side, we do have double Ottomans. And these guys both have reduced cost on their docks. So we've got one, two players on the water. Three, four players on the water. Five, six players on the water. And of course, a seventh and an eighth player. Well, actually, hold on. Am I missing one? Am I missing one? Salami. You're a little bit late to the dock party, my friend. But it gets up eventually. I wonder why he's just not using it. He's not even gathering. Is it because the town center is so close and he's like, I'm just going to lose it anyway? But I mean, you could always just move it, right? Like, you can just bring it up here and defend it that way. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting position. So, I mean, speaking of positions, let's let's talk about positions. So, Beastie's obviously drawn the short straw when it comes to his civilization. He's got he's got a civilization that he's very comfortable with, the Delhi Sultanate. The civilization that's not considered the best in free-for-alls. 
How is he going to look to utilize it? That's going to be a big question. Now, there's not a lot of sacred sites on this map. There are three. But when you consider that there's eight players, it makes it a bit harder. They're all in the center of the map as well. So it's likely that he'll probably just look for a fast castle, I would suspect. Maybe go into village fortresses as soon as he can. Always an option for him. I think his spawn's pretty good, though. He does have a nearby neighbor. Don Hardy, coming off a fresh victory in game number one. Playing on the Abbasid Dynasty. Has had access to water for a long time. He's been fishing plenty. That's a little bit scary, if I'm honest. The other thing to note is Beastie's gold's pretty far away. He doesn't have a gold underneath the town center. So it means if he wants to go Castle Age, he's going to have to really invest in bringing villagers out here. And if Donati manages to spot that, he could be in trouble. Down on that south side, though, I suspect this is where we may see blood shed earliest. Two Ottoman players once again. What is it with these Ottoman players and spawning close to each other? We saw it yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. First game yesterday. We saw Beastie spawning very close to Striker. The double Ottoman play. But uh, today, it's going to be Urk and Anatan that, that spawn very close to each other. First of the landmarks coming up. It's going to be the Twin Minaret Madrasa. Up towards the north side. Culture Wing going to be coming through for the Don. It looks like he's going to be switching up his playstyle. Instead of going into the Eco Wing this game, he's going to be going Culture Wing, looking to pick up those relics in the middle. Over towards that west side. Marine Lord yet to click up to that feudal age just yet. See a whole bunch of villagers getting thrown out, and he is going to go for the Twin Minaret Madrasa as well. Beautiful little spot. Remember, it does act as a mill, so he can utilize it to pick up these deer. In the center of the map, though. Wham. Probably the... Uh, I, I would say... Look, I, I like Wham's spot from the... For, from his play style, right? When I think of Wham, I think of a player who is very competent in, in the Castle Age, right? So I, I, would, I would not be surprised with Wham's beautiful spawn that he's got here, even though it's a little bit of a, a late pit mine, that he looks to go Castle Age and he looks to convert maybe down towards the south side where the Marine Lord's going to let him. Maybe Marine Lord looks to fight against him to, to deal with that. We'll have to wait and see. Salami now, School of Cavalry. Definitely a bit of an awkward spot here for Salami. He had a pretty good first game. I say pretty good. I mean, he scored one point, but one point's better than no points. And of course, over to the west. Puppy Paw. He's, he's a little bit isolated. I don't actually mind Puppy Paw's position. Like, you, you're going to have other people that are fighting against each other. But now Beastie throwing down the landmark. It's going to be the Tower of Victory. So maybe looking to fight early on here. Don Arty ages up very, very shortly. You can see that culture wing just about through. Don Arty sitting on 300 gold at the moment. 400 food. Anatan reaching the feudal age. Urk going to be following him up with the Salt and Honey Trade Network. Take a look at that. We've got a difference of opinions when it comes to landmarks for the feudal age. Do we have any castle ages coming through from these guys? It doesn't look like it. Instead, going to be fighting it out on water. Both of these guys moving early on into hulks. Marine Lord reaches the feudal age as well. So early on, these two are going to be locked in aggression on the water. And this, for, for somebody who's not particularly invested in it, say like Wham, who's just kind of chilling out right now. Uh, Marine Lord also just chilling out. I, I, just, I wouldn't be surprised if all of these guys are just chilling out, especially the ones who aren't neighbors, right? Like if, if you're not a neighbor, you don't really, you're not invested in somebody else's fishing economy. But here you're invested in, in their fishing economy because if you don't get, if you don't take this out, they're going to build that up and they're going to take over. Uh, it looks like Salami did eventually go at water, even though it was on the east side of the map. So, yeah, I, I can understand why these two are fighting against each other so ferociously early on. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, but we begin to see the first of the units coming out now. Looks like Archery range is going to be thrown down for Anatan. At the same time, a military school with the meta for Urk early on in this game. Now, up towards this top side, we start to see Beastie, who is going to be making his first. He's going to be going for an arrow ship. Puppy Paw reaches the feudal age as well. Slowly but steadily. And doesn't it feel a lot better for Puppy Paw to, to have just evacuated and come and moved up here? Yeah, you're a little bit delayed in your age up, but at the end of the day, I mean, you're alive. And that's what matters. That's what matters. Let's check in over with the Don. See how he's doing. He's already clicked Castle Age. He's going military wing. Very quick Castle Age from Don. Somewhat isolated over here. He's going to be looking to try and pick up relics. Don't be surprised if he moves a villager or two out. In the center of the map. Have we got a second TC attempt coming through? It looks like it might be the case. Wham not going to be committing to just a uh, just a fast castle like we thought it would be. All right, let's ride on board now. Over on this southern position, double hulks are coming through. Both players massing up the hulks. 
Wham. Nothing. Marine Lord, nothing. Don Artie, nothing. Puppy Paw, nothing. Very, very standard. But look at this, Beastie coming out. Don Beastie recognizes, you know what, Don? You're my nearest enemy. You're my nearest threat. I need to take you out. I need, I need to stop this. I, I need to prevent this from happening. And now we see Backlaw versus Backlaw. A classic matchup that we've seen. All the way back on those days of Archipelago. Remember the good old days of Archipelago? Where we'd watch Backlers versus... Uh, well, I guess, I guess back in those days it was Backlaw versus Backlaw, wasn't it? A classic matchup. Fishing boat coming forward. Looking to repair this one up. Dow getting brought back as well. Looks like Beastie going to be forced away from this for the moment. And Don going to be happily gathering up resources with the fishing boats. At least for the interim. Remember, he's already clicked that Castle Age. Is he just going fast Imperial? It's a classic Don play. We've seen him do it before. Throws down the stable. It looks like Don might not even be going for a Mosque. Normally, I'd expect him to be going for Mosque. That, that's a pretty early Castle Age for him. That's, I'm, I'm going to try my best to, to keep up to date with all the action across the map, but I do apologize in advance. We've got a lot of players that are similar colors all spawning together. You've got pink and red. You've got yellow and orange. You've got blue and blue. Makes it a little bit awkward to see are there units in the base. It's always easier when you've got two different, you know, vastly different colors. You know, the hot and the cold. You know, now that I think about it, I, that's one thing I'd love to see for team games. I'd, I'd love an option where where you could turn it on. Or it should just be the default for team games. Your team should be assigned one set of colors, either hot or cold. You get access to like these four colors at the top. And that's it. You can pick from those four colors. Whereas the enemy team, they get access to the cool colors. Which are... They, look, don't get me wrong. Both of the colors are cool. But these are cooler colors because of their... Of their... Their, their, their natural lack of vibrance. Let's just say that much. And I know that there's people going to be saying that's teal. Well, what, what if it's cyan? What if it's aqua? All right? So I'm just going to go with the... The uh, politically neutral term blue. Okay? Because I'm, I'm sure it still qualifies as that. But look at this. And a tent. Going to be coming around from the top side. Having a little visit. First of the villagers does go down. Sapai, you're going to be able to clean it up for the moment. And MIA going to be thrown down from Urk. Bit of an awkward spot. Honestly, I don't like this position uh, from him at all. Throwing it down right on the edge. Castle Age coming, coming through. Beastie in trouble, though. He was looking to go castle himself. Looks like the Camel Riders are going to delay, but not really do too much. And we do see 15 units inside the town center. So he manages to clean it up for the moment. More lances coming out. Let's take a look and see. Do we have the mosque? There's the mosque getting thrown down. Blacksmith. No, that's a market and the blacksmith getting thrown down here. And we've got Beastie now with the compound of the defender coming up to the castle age as well. So we've seen a lot of people rise up to the castle age in a very short amount of time. Marine Lord. He's hit his castle age. He's on the with, with the MIA. So double TC MIA opening. In the middle of the map, we've got the Farima garrison. And of course, archers are already getting built here for Wham. I, I'm not even kidding you. I was about to say for Vortex. I don't know why. I just uh, Whenever I'm watching Marlians, I just feel like I'm watching Vortex. It, uh, he, he loves to do it. Uh, Salami in the middle of the map. Yet to even really think about Castle at this point. A lot of resources uh, spent elsewhere, it seems. Beastie still with plenty of villagers over on the gold. Curious what his plan is for this game as the, the relics start to get picked up. Don going to be doing the same thing, guarding up his own relics, sending out the lances. We see the imams. Pushing out across the map. At the same time, Wham! I'm going to be looking to pick up the relics from the center. Double production now coming out on these lances from our Mongol player in the west. Urk reaches the castle age. Manages to get the landmark up. And now putting pressure over on, the, on these military schools. A little bit of an awkward position that they're in. Very far away. Anatan also going to be going castle age here. It's very interesting that they all go into the MIA. None of them even stop to look at the, uh, the Istanbul... Is it the Istanbul Imperial Council, I think it's called? I'd have to double check what the name is, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Istanbul Imperial Council. But no one even like bothers to go into it. I guess it's still kind of still kind of weak, isn't it? You just want that siege pressure. Well, holding on for the moment. Anatand, together with Urk, locked in fierce battle. How does it go down? That's going to be a big question. Salami's still just kind of chilling out for the moment. Every, everybody just building up. It's a bit of a slow build-up. One of those games where it's the slow build-up. No real for, forced feudal fights. And Don Hardy going to be thrown down a keep in the middle, but not if Beastie's got anything to say about it. We'll secure this gold and prevent Beastie from having any real expansion out here. 
Keep in mind, Beastie is somewhat in the corner. This gold is, is very important for him to be able to get. If he gets access to this gold, it's going to give him an opportunity to come deny or to take out Don and use that as a as a as an anchor point to take out Don and then leverage taking out Don into moving into more gold. The problem that he's going to have is he's got one gold with 1,400 left on it, and that's it. Where does he go after that? I mean, he can come down here. I don't think Salami's going to let him. He can try and take this gold. I don't think Don's going to let him. This gold is imperative to the survival of Beastie. And it's another classic case of even though he's got a really nice spawn, somewhat isolated, he's in the corner, there's just a lack of resources there. All right, let's check in over on that south side. Plenty more action coming in. Twitch chat, I will just remind you, if you do see any action that I'm missing, spam it in the chat at me so I know that... You know, I, I would prefer if you just don't at me all the time uh, because I will look when people at me and I don't want to be baited away from, from doing doing the casting. But if I'm missing something, please at me. You can see Core spamming. Get out of it, Core. I don't, I don't want to miss any king kills. We've already missed one so far in the grand finals. Another relic going to get picked up. Marine Lord on three relics. I don't know how Marine Lord managed to pick up three relics. I'm impressed. Did he go for the double imams? He did. He went for double imams. So that's how he's managed to secure them. So three relics so far. We do see Wham picking up two, Don picking up three, and then one going over to Beastie. So I'm pretty sure that's almost all of the relics with the exception of this one over here on the east side getting picked up early on. And everyone playing a very passive game. No one really looking to commit at this stage. It's very hard to to, to irk out, to, to orc out, to irk out, to get that little bit of a lead. Sacred Sites being contested at the almost exact same time. Marine Lord and Wham. Oh god, it's happening. Oh god, look at the notifications. So for anybody, for any devs watching at the moment who wonder, why do I want a neutral, uh, a neutral uh, spectator view? That's why. I don't need to know that there are five no five people capturing sacred sites within the space of two seconds. Just one of the small things that we need. All right. Sacred site now captured. You can see, how, why is Puppy Paw, oh, Puppy Paw, Puppy Paw comes from the other side of the map, kills the Manganel and says, sorry, mate, don't mind me, just dealing with the Manganel. Excuse me, Puppy Paw? Taking out Urk's Mango and then just leaves. He literally just leaves. He's like, okay, that was, that was it. I'm done. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, Puppy Paw? Why would you do that? <laughs> now he's down a Manganel. Now he's fighting against, he's... Beastie's Imperial. Okay, the madman did it. Is, it. is he going elephants? He is. Okay, all right. I like this play from Beastie. This is solid. This is a smart move from Beastie when you think about it, right? He doesn't have a lot of gold. So what does he do? He goes Imperial Age, gets access to elite units. He can still make trash. It'll be elite trash. And he gets a free Sultan's Elite Tower Elephant being produced every, what is it, every 90 seconds, something like that, which is still technically a gold unit. So it means that that lack of gold that he's got over here, he's going to be able to utilize it at least to some extent. And he's got eight scholars. He's going to have a ninth one. He's got a single relic that'll power him up. But it's going to be a tough game for Beastie. He really needs to bide his time. And obviously the problem is if he bides his time, how much of it is he really going to have in the end? King coming out, going to be moving towards the keep. Puppy Paw still looking to cause havoc out here. Just just running around, just looking for a, for a fight to pick. Definitely the closest game we've seen so far in the Octagon. Nobody eliminated. Coming up to the 20 minute mark. Seems pretty close. Definitely no weak links identified at this point in the game. The full east side of the island completely untouched. Puppy Paw reaches the Imperial Age. Look at this. Cancelled the town center at the beginning of the game. He's Imperial Age. His neighbor? Feudal Age. Look at this. Salami's still in the Feudal Age. He's got 85 villagers. He's got a booming fishing... Oh my god, look at the fishing economy. Salami going absolutely ham on water, which is a weird place to go ham. Normally you'd go ham near a boar, but Salami is going ham on water. Take a look at this. Big numbers starting to come out from Wham. Says, hello brother, how do you do? Salami cancels the landmark. He was going to go Royal Institute. Cancels it. Is he, is he thinking about a guild hall? Definitely the, could be the right play. Salami scouting out his Imperial Age neighbor. 
Is he looking to throw the landmark down somewhere different? Or did he just queue up? I think he might have just queued up units. Yeah, he's scared of dying. He's scared of dying. Oh, he's really scared. Look at this. Oh, do we have a migration coming in? Or is, it, is he committing for a first blood? Oh, he's bringing... Is he bringing every... Oh, my lord. Salami's got a lot of units. I didn't even realize. Puppy boy in trouble right now. Puppy boy in real trouble. Marine Lord once again looking to try and get it. Look at the demo ship sitting out here waiting. Come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. He takes out the demo ship. Meanwhile, behind this king is exposed. Coming through. Don Artie looking to pick up this king early on in the game. Don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it. The king's out. The king is out. 84 health. He manages to jump into the outpost. We've got a secondary king up towards the top side. He's getting chased around. It's the double king. We didn't see action for 21 minutes. And then all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, Puppy Paw, Puppy Paw, Puppy Paw, not like this. He holds on for a little bit longer. He pops the movement speed. No, oh, I missed it. I'm not missing this one. I'm not missing this one. 12 health on the, on the king. Oh, we missed it. Oh, Salami goes down. We missed Salami. I'm not missing this one, Mum. <laughs> ah, God, no, Salami. Oh, never mind. We saw it. We saw it. <laughs> oh, my God. Why do they always do it at the same time? What's wrong with these people? What is <laughs> wrong with these people? All right. Give me a second here. I'm hoping that OBS isn't going to bug out. I've, I've got to fix up our, our chat uh, in game for whatever reason it's decided to, to switch away. There we go. All right. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, my God. I don't know how I do it. I need two screens. I need two screens. I mean, there, there's no possible way I can keep track of that happening. You've got two kings being chased. We kind of knew what was going to happen. Calm down. Everybody just chill. All right. All right. Let's let... I don't actually know who got first blood. I think Don got first blood, right? Don killed Salami. Salami had a massive force there. Look, like, he's he's fighting for dear life. If he had a single transport ship here, he was okay. And he, he never actually lost the water. He never made any fishing boats from this. I mean, we see a handful that are out here, but I suspect they might be Puppy Paws, judging by the angle. And indeed they are. They're heading back to Puppy Paws dock. He never made anything from that dock. So, but look at this. Beastie. He managed to find a foothold. Two of his neighbors going down. I, I got to check in on the other side of the map and see how it's going. Because Wham is going for the Fort of the Huntress. Oh, a single transport ship there would have kept Salami alive for a little bit longer. He actually cancelled the landmark because he knew he was in trouble. His, his closest neighbour was Imperial Age, but that wasn't the threat. The threat came from across the map. And now in the middle of the map, Beastie continues to push forward with keeps. He's going keep on keep on keep, baby. He's just going to keep on keeping on. Don picks up that extra 50 pop. He'll be very happy with this. Playing as the Abbasid Dynasty, but look at the... Look at the population. What does it matter if you've got that extra 50 pop if you're down 50 population from Beastie? And Beastie's Imperial Age. How are we looking on those elite upgrades? Let's take a look in the base of Beastie. Still a couple of uh, hours until Beastie's upgrades come through. But he's got the double Sultan's Elite. He's got the double Sultan's Elite. Elephants in position. Bit of a fight from that top side. Wham looking for trouble. Is he going to find it inside the base? Or oh, King out of water. Fish out of water. Watch it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Don Artie comes in and in a, the blink of an eye goes to 191 population. Don Artie with the Giga Chad play. Absolute insanity from Don Artie right now. Takes 31 villages. Takes 24 knights from the player he took out and all of a sudden that advantage that Beastie had is gone in the blink of an eye. Three population, the difference between them. What an incredible play from Don managing to get back on the board with that one and he says, you know what Beastie, I was a bit worried. I'm not worried anymore, son. Transport ship. Looks like we've got Urk planning on heading somewhere. A little bit newer. The problem is there's an enemy to his south and he's got forces. Does he go to the north then? Could be the option. He's going to go south. He's going to try a south attempt. He's moving into greener pastures. He's taken a lot of villages. He's taken army. It's a complete evacuation from the base. In the middle of the map, Beastie still holding it down, but Beastie under pressure. Don Arty with his brand new army begins to push through. Transport ships towards the south continue to try and find their way through. Bombard gets taken out. Culverin going to be able to do it. Beastie in trouble in game two as well. 
Don Artie looking incredible in this series so far. Another conversion comes through. It's going to be more villagers that attack. Marine Lord, you're already maxed out, brother. That's just going to that's just going to delete him. Nice try, though. <laughs> oh, Marine Lord. He's just he's killing the units so that the enemies can't take them. Marine Lord trying once again. So for anybody wondering how it works, if you're above 200 population, it will instead kill the units rather than convert the units. So you thought that was free real estate, my friend? Unfortunately, it's not. The government owns that one. Oh, poor Marine Lord. Classic uh, Marine Lord not understanding game mechanics. We've seen it time and time again from the Frenchman. You know, it, it all goes back to the Bunty. Uh, let's check in over on that south side. Transport ships making a pretty good, make, making a pretty good move over here. I mean, is there a chance where Urk actually somehow manages to start a whole new base? A whole new base? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's. I mean, realistically, he's kind of denying them as well, right? Like, that's the other thing. He, he knows that Don's obviously looked for it. So he, he could be trying to do it. Do something a little bit cheeky, a little bit sneaky. Now, where are all those knights? Did, did he lose all those knights already? Don't tell me he lost all the knights already. I wanted to check. I, I think he's lost all the knights. I wanted to check whether... Oh, we got Vils coming down over here. Uh, whether the upgrades would be passed on from him hitting Castle Edge. Matt, that, that was an insane wall along. All right, Donati still pushing through. Hand cannon near spear. We saw him do it in game number one. Looks like he's going to be doing it in game number two as well. Lack of mangoes here, but BC in trouble. The Sultan's elite tower elephants. Going to be struggling here against how many units he's got up against him. Donati, 192 population. I tell you what, that Wallalol single-handedly brings him back into this game. It was able to crush the army that Beastie had at the time. And now Don look, looks to push down upon his enemy. Meanwhile, Marine Lord's looking for more kings. Not going to find it here, buddy. Not going to find it here. The king is in another castle. But the king's out of water. He spots it. Elite Sipahi. Donati continuing to push through on the top side. King is in the keep under pressure. Beastie holding on for dear life. Gets repelled back on this south side. Marine Lord doing his best. Where's the army of Wham? Wham coming down to meet him. And up towards that top side. Beastie still holding on. He's sitting on 9.4k gold. This is, gone, this is crazy. He went from having zero gold up here to managing to secure the middle. And he finds, look at this, finds double big gold here. Keep still alive. 165 stone in the bank. Not a huge amount. King is alive for a little bit longer. A little bit, a little bit longer he stays alive. And now we've got the new base coming down. It's going to be town centers for Urk. Definitely the right call. He's on 43 villages. He just needs to be left alone. Honestly, the best thing for Urk right now is keep the king in a transport ship in the corner of the map. Oh, is, is that what he's doing? Please tell me that's what he's doing. Oh, it's what he's doing. Oh, this is, this is so good for Urk. Because what this does, the, the reason why this is so smart for Urk to do this... It basically tells his enemies, hey guys, I'm I'm not in this corner. Don't come looking in this corner. If you put the king on land over here, it says, hey, I'm over here. But you keep him on the water and they, they're just kind of like thinking, he could be over there. We don't know. We don't know. So that's what's so smart about keeping this king in the transport ship is the enemy's just going to remain unaware of where Urk is. And you can see right now, he is just, he is a migrant. He has gone from one side of Tasmania over to the other side of Tasmania. Beautiful place so far. And we see Marine Lord once again using that treason ability. Looks like he might be migrating. Hold on a minute. Where, where are you heading, Marine Lord? Looks like he's just cleaning up Urk's base. Beastie under pressure. Looks like the king may have been evacuated. Indeed he has. He's got a transport ship on standby. Don Artie may need to think about water. We've seen Don Artie taunted by transport ships before in this series. Do we see it again today? I wouldn't be surprised. Still pushing down on that south side. King out of water once again. Might be looking to move. Grand Galleys. Joining the party here. And town centers together with the keeps coming up. Look at, look at the stone balls coming through from Urk. A little bit early for the keep if I'm if I'm being honest. Now Don Arty has lots of vision back here. Transport ship's got nothing in it. This th th these ones, they're, they're all just on uh, they're on patrol at the moment. Big spirit, big Donzo attack right now. It's just villagers inside the keep. Not going to be able to find the king here. King has managed to escape. King... Oh, where is the king, actually? Did he make it to a transport ship? 
Demos. <gasps> Marine Lord with the demos. He could be looking just for the Grand Galleys, though. I, I don't actually know where the king is. Marine Lord with plenty of metas on the back line. Don takes down the keep. Still under pressure. Pushing in on this top side. Beastie in trouble. And Marine Lord manages to have found what he may have been looking for. Did the king go? Oh my God, he put the king in the keep. This is the mistake. This is the biggest mistake right here. As soon as the king comes into the keep, look at this, immediately. If you just kept the king out here in the corner, I mean, you probably don't want it in the corner just because you got nowhere to run, but you guys get the point, right? Demo ships moving along the shoreline. Marine Lord wants this king and he knows if you're, if you're thinking about running, you better be thinking again, my friend. Now, where is this king down here for Anatan? It's in the town center. So a little bit of a king check. Anatan in the TC. Marine Lord just chilling out. Uh, we've got back here in the base of Don Artie. King is in the keep. Beasties King's in his keep. And on the east side, we've got a king in the keep for Urk. Don sitting on 241 population. Starting to build up resources in the bank. Culverin coming out. Springled. Gets obliterated before we can even see whether it's got roller shutter triggers. I would suspect it probably doesn't. One of the big buffs I would say that the Delhi Sultanate need, roller shutter triggers needs to come through a lot faster for them. It is terrible playing as the Delhi and trying to get roller shutter triggers. It's it's so bad. Because you need to pay extra money for the other siege workshop, and then you need to wait like 46 minutes for the upgrade to come through. It just feels really bad. Looks like Marine Lord does get walled out for the moment. So not gonna be able to find any kings over here for the moment. Definitely the right call. Army just chills out. Still making villages. Marine Lord back on the move. Beastie in the middle. Trying to build a foothold here. He's already got a pretty good foothold, actually. Don's still pushing down. Big water fleet coming in from Don. He knows. He knows that the king might be looking to escape. So he gets ready. And he goes for Dows as well. Remember, the Dows are going to be really quick here. 1.75 movement speed up against the transport ship 1.5 so they will be able to chase them they'll be able to track them down and he just keeps them out ready Don now going to start looking to push down upon Beastie really pressing the issue here Beastie responding couple villagers going to be going down oh my god we missed it the king went down Wham assassinates Anatand we missed two in the same game you hate to see it King was very exposed here. Honestly, the king probably needed to be in the keep. You can see all the dead units here. We're not going to miss the next one, though. We're not going to miss another one, right, guys? Dow's moving up. Looks like the Zebek is here as well. Ah, oh, you hate to see it, don't you? You really do. King going down. All right, we're not, we're not going to miss this one. We're not going to miss... Whoa, oh, oh, my God, we're going to miss this one. Where, where's the king? <laughs> where's the king? Oh, we're totally... Oh, my God, we're missing everything right now. Where is the king? It's got to be down here, Fort of the Huntress. Indeed, it is. Still going to be some time before the Fort of the Huntress is, is pressured, so we should be okay for the moment. And Urk still manages to stay alive. I mean, he's going to build up his village account. That's the big thing for Urk right now. He just needs to throw down TC on TC on TC. Don Hardy trying his best to deal with the keep. Gets rid of the transport ships, and we can see that there's probably a few more transport ships in queue, maybe. But the Zebek numbers are building now for Beastie. Beastie on the defensive. He manages to hold. Dow's still looming. Zebek on the shoreline. And Beastie's still holding on. I mean, at this point, there's a couple of... Uh, there's a couple of ways that you could look to play this. But maybe there's a bit of incentive on, on letting Don kill you quickly. Because if he kills you quickly, then he just... He, he goes and takes all the points in the lobby, right? And if you think about it right now, Don is the point leader. Okay, so if we just say, okay, Don's already point leader. Let's just... Let's... Okay, let's give him first place in this situation and let him gobble up everybody else. And then, you know, maybe he gets eight points again in this... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Urk coming in, looking to snipe away a king here. Completely unprotected. Marine Lord also going to be coming through. It's a big surround. It's a big surround. And I don't think Marine Lord's going to be able to get through. King is going to be going down. It's going to be Urk that picks up the kill, assassinating Wham. He stays in the game and manages to assassinate Wham after all that fanfare, after all that hype. Wham's king goes down. And then there were four. So <laughs> this is where it really starts to get interesting. Urk is actually in this game, unironically.
I can't believe it. Are we seeing a potential comeback right now? And for anybody wondering what was Wham doing? Well, Wham's base was getting killed by... Mar oh, God. Was getting killed by Marine Lord, and the Fort of the Huntress was where the king was. So he had to move the king. So he tried bringing it out, tried bringing it down over to some docks over here. Unfortunately, he was building the docks, and they got taken out. So, a little bit unfortunate. A few more units back here. I'd love to have these mangonels around the other side. They definitely go very well. But, I mean, realistically, Urk is getting bought time just because Don and Beastie are fighting it out for so long. And this is where it comes back to my sort of conundrum that you've got if you're Beastie. Now, the problem is, I don't, I don't think Beastie's the type of guy to roll over and just, you know, say, oh, okay, you, you kill me, so that way... It, it, it would never happen. But from a strategic standpoint, it could make sense. The sooner Don was to kill Beastie, then the sooner he can go on and kill everybody else. And then he collects more points. He gets further ahead, but everybody else stays low. And that's one way that you could look at it from a strategic perspective as to how you could play this game out. All right. Let's check in over on that east side with Urk. Keep sitting with the king inside. Beastie's king still sitting on the shoreline. Don really having some trouble trying to take him out. Don playing one of the best at, at the best uh, Imperial Age civilizations with a 50 population advantage up against Beastie you know, with arguably the worst FFA civilization, especially on this map. Down 50 max pop. And Beastie's still holding. Not just that, but Beastie laughing at him right now. Beastie saying, get out of here, Don, and take your rams with you. Marine Lord. King safely inside the keep. Don's king safely inside his keep as well. A little bit of a villager fight. And I think Don's realized, you know what? We gotta, we gotta cut off these resources that are coming through here. Definitely seems like, like the right call. And where does Marine Lord go with this army? He's got a big army. A lot of siege. A very slow moving army. But he's got the meta with it. Didn't go into siege cruise. Probably not the right call. He's going to siege cruise in, uh, in an FFA like this. Might make sense in a team game. Or in a 1v1. A lot of vills going to be going down here for Don. He's down to 108 vills, actually. Let's check in. With our... With our survivor. I tell you what, if we've ever had anybody coming close to a comeback, this has got to be it. This is the map to do it on. All right. A little bit of a surround coming in. Beast are going to be losing more vills here. Marine Lord's got nobody on his side of the map. So the big question is going to be where does he target all of his firepower? He's looking to clear out this central location. Obviously doing the same thing. Don Adi. Pushing forward with some culverins. Interesting decision. Oh, he's, he's just going to be taking out the siege. All right, makes sense. Decision not so interesting. Decision uh, understood. Is he sniping out... I can't even see. Is he doing... I might be hitting the C, the Sultan's Elite. Okay. I thought he was hitting the uh, the Scholars here. I'm like, is he not doing damage or is it just me? But uh, no, it was very intentional. Vul's going to be sieging down the battering ramps. For how much longer? That's going to be the question. Marine Lord increasing his position. Take a look at the resources Marine Lord's got in the bank now. Sitting at over 50k. 50k? Not really. 43k. Sitting at almost 50k resources. Continues to march out. Needs to bring villagers with him, honestly. If I'm Marine Lord right now, I mean, you, you're probably looking at your food and saying, ah, 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 you know what, that's that's okay for now. Oh, he's doing big trade as well. Only 77 gold, so not the most. Uh, so it looks like he is trading to the uh, to the, the neutral trading post, the coastal trading post that he's got here. I think he's got better options. Whether or not he takes them, though, that's going to be a different story. Marine Lord continuing to, to clean out. I think Marine Lord might be looking for the weak link here. If we take a look back towards the base, King is sitting inside the the keep, but I suspect he knows exactly where Urk's King is. He's got the demo ships waiting, lying in wait. 95 damage on each of these demos. 400 health. You know what? Now that I think about it, one of the changes that we probably should have made is demo ships get like plus plus 350 damage against transport ship. I don't know. Do they have like, they don't have like a special class, but I feel like a demo should just one shot a transport ship. 
Oh, that would make a lot more sense, actually. All right, let's see how long this it takes for this king to evacuate out. It's going to be looking to come through on the backside. Remember, we've seen transport ships before from him. Beastie looking to try and pick up a kill if he can. Beastie actually pushing back against Don. Don with a whole bunch of villagers still out here. And it looks like it's a very short work being made of these keeps here. Such a huge, massive siege. 19 siege engines now. Units moving towards the back. King out of water. We expect to see a transport ship coming in soon. Now, th this will get spotted out by Donati. Donati will see the king. Whether or not he's looking for it is a different matter. Where is Don's army? Don's fighting up here. Oh, uh, speaking of Don's army, Don's lost a lot, actually. Beastie somehow managed to turn the tides on him. I'm impressed. Here I was talking about, you know, Beastie just rolling over and letting the beast that is Don take him. Beastie had other ideas. Don't tread on me, it seems. Let's check in with the king. Oh, let's check in with the king. And this is the classic case of, well, yeah, we're fine. We've got... How many demo ships have you got? Only three. One, two, three. 164 health left. And Marine Lord doesn't have another ship for, uh... Well, one, two, three. There we go. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a problem here. Uh, so, yeah, they, these trans... Maybe just reduce the health of the transport ship down, honestly. Put the, tr the transport ship health should have been reduced from 400 down to, like, 16. Let's check in with Don. Don... Oh, God. Don in a little bit of trouble, but now Don gonna be looking to use the transport ship. Everybody getting in the transport ships. Don diving in. But where does Don go? I mean... You go north. There's a beast. He's not... He might not be in the east. east. I was gonna say the east. The east. Uh... But, uh, yeah, he's in the north, and he's a beast, that's for sure. I, I can't believe the beastie actually turned it around on Don. That's crazy to me. So Don ma manages to evacuate for the moment. Now the Zebecs are going to be coming in. Short work is going to be made of these. King returning back towards the base. It looks like Marine Lord's decided, you know what? I'm not going to be bothering with that king today. He does have the, the treason ability ready to go. Oh, hello. How you doing? <laughs> we caught it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got it. Beastie assassinates Don Artie, takes him out and says, see you later, mate. Zebex roaming the oceans. And Beastie cleans up the Don after an incredible fight. 42 minutes of nonstop action on this top side. Beastie has turned on God mode and he is coming for you, Marine Lord. Watch out. So where do we go from here? Beastie stone walls. And he says, well, I'm glad that that's all over. I can finally have my gold. 15, all 14.95 of it. Uh, th this might be a problem though. You know when... So the way that the UI works here is we show the three most units that you've got of, of any type. So as an example for Urk, you can see he's got 11 crossbows, 55 knights. You know it's always a problem if you're up against a player and their second most unit is Great Bombards. Marine Lord's got 11 Great Bombards and he's got one in queue. That's not good. That's not good. That 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 is trouble. So we're entering the phase of the game where we could potentially see a wonder here. Marine Lord not really in a position to go for it. If anything, Beastie's kind of in a position. He's got plenty of stone in the bank. But, yeah, not nowhere near enough resources. So I don't think we see it from him. I think Marine Lord, you could definitely see it. I don't know whether you go for a wonder victory on this map, though. Uh, I feel like a wonder victory on this map is very bold. Just because there's always the opportunity for a... Well, how do you say it? A little bit of a, a side mission. Um, yeah, and you, you kind of... You got to defend... You, you got to defend from so many different angles. Like, for Marine Lord, he doesn't have any stone walls up. So he'd have to put, like, his, his wonder, hypothetically, let's say, right here. Between the four keeps, it's a really good spot. I'm actually starting to lose frames here? Excuse me? Why are my frames dropping? I'm on like 44 frames. That's not good. Should I be closing things down right now? It feels it feels weird to be watching a game and have my frames frames dropping. Zebek defending. I don't even think I've got anything else open. Maybe like Firefox or something like that. It could just be the bombards. Too many bombards on one screen. 
causes a man to go crazy. Oh man, that, that frame drop is killing me. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna try doing something that I, I don't often like to do and that's pressing the Windows key. And I'm just, I'm just gonna close this down. And I'm gonna close that down. Did that get us any more frames? We're down to 37 frames. What is going on right now? 37 frames? We're losing frames. That's not how it's meant to work. Okay, Urk has managed somehow to get back into this game. King's still alive. Pop, popping the trees in ability. We can see the beastie realizes that's a lot. I probably can't deal with that right now. We'll get that transport ship ready. So many rams out here right now. I'm going to switch perspective. Maybe that helps it. We switched to Marine Lord's perspective. We're up to 40 frames. We did it. For anybody wondering, I think I'm running a 3090. So the, the graphics card is, uh, is quite outdated. Uh, but hopefully... I mean, Beastie actually doing it. Is, oh, Beastie's going for a snipe. Beastie's going... That's a joke for anybody wondering. That's a joke. It's a 3090. I know. It's a joke. Calm down. 3090's not really up, outdated. Where's the king? There's the king. Beastie comes in on the back door. We're up to 50 frames. We cracked 60. Look, uh, we're up to 60 frames, guys. We did it. We're back. Smooth 60 frames per minute. All right, where did the king go? King's out the front. King's out the front. Marine Lord attacking into Beastie. Beastie attacking into Urk. Urk attacking into, well, Beastie's farms. Where is that king? Did I, I did I lose the king? No, he's, he's in the battering ram. He's in the battering ram. He's okay. So Beastie comes through on the back door. Just when Urk thought he was going for it, it was actually Beastie that was going for it. Villagers! Oh, the villagers getting pulled. He's looking to try and surround the king. If he can surround the king, he king pops the movement speed. He's out of there. He says, see you later, mate. Nice to meet you. I gotta go. Up towards the north side. Demo ship's coming through. Marine Lord's looking for Beastie's king. Where's the Beastie king? I don't know where it is. King in the middle. King of the castle. Beastie's king. Just chilling out. Next to the keep. A lot of battering rams here. Is he going for Marine Lord now? He could be. So many battering rams. It's a ludicrous amount of battering rams right here. And it really enters this difficult spot where players often find themselves without having enough navy to deal with, with even just a transport ship. Yeah, you know what? For Outback Octagon Season 3, transport ship, health is going to get reduced down to 90, no, 100, so it can survive one demo ship. Uh, and the, the movement speed of the transport ship will re be reduced significantly as well. I think that's the best way to move forward. If there's a Season 3. Marine Lord could look to be preparing for a wonder right now. Might have to deal with uh, this little attack. I love that he's bringing the king as well. He could use the movement speed for the, or from the king to move the units in faster. Where's Marine Lord's army? Oh, it's so immobile. He's got all of this siege and he's on the wrong side of the map. Where's the king? Where's the king? Has it already escaped? Is he already out the back? He's, or he's already escaped. He's, he's walling it in. What is the king doing? King, excuse me, sir. You can see him focusing down. He knows the king's on the front line. I don't feel good for Urk right now. He T-poses. Uses the treason ability. He knows where the king is. He knows that it's far away. Beastie's king towards that north side, still safely sitting inside the keep. Definitely becomes a, a game of three-way chess. I guess you could call it Age of Empires. Battering rams now. Working down all the buildings of Marine Lord, but he's bought himself enough time to get the siege back into position. No matter with the army means a little bit slower. Urk's TC, cleaning it up. And Urk returns back home. It, it was a classic case of a man who went on a little bit of a mission. He toured the world. He saw the highs, he saw the lows. And now, unfortunately, it seems like he may see one final low. The king making his way back, touring the village. He once came through. He was born here. He was raised here. And now he will die here as Beastie looks to surround the king. Managing to pincer it. He's trying his best, but it looks like the king able to stay alive just a little bit longer. 
and he lives he survives but for how much longer as marine lord hunts transport ship is surely in queue at this point he's making his way down here a couple more seconds and he'll be okay battering rams looking to block transport ship comes out and once again <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole with these guys these poor guys beastie eating into the base Beasties King safe on the shoreline. Demo ships get exploded. I think it might have just been a delete. He's on the move now. King on the shoreline. A lot of units here. A lot of units here. If he's not paying attention, he could he could snipe the king out from, from over the top of him. Genissaries. Battering Rams diving into it as well. He could look to hit Marine Lord. Needs to make sure he brings a couple of units here with him. There we go. Diving into the ships. Watch out. Transport ship under pressure. And he, died. he he manages to duck out. He's got rams. There, there's an exit on the top side, so the king can always just look to escape. You know he wants it, though. And you can see him biding his time. Where's Marine Lord right now? Has the treason ability. Doesn't use it. He's on the move. Transport ships on their way out. He brings all the siege to the shoreline. The demo ships! He's only got four of them! It's not going to be enough. They, they do a little bit of a kiss. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! Oh, he's holding on for dear life! The demo ships! Urk! Not like this! Oh, he's taking shots! He's taking shots from the from the shoreline! He's he's guarding the demo ships back so that if the king comes out, he can just explode on him. This is good game for Urk! Marine Lord's got him! Marine Lord's got him surrounded! The demo ships coming through, ladies and gentlemen! Good night, sweet prince! And the game! Uh was Urk? Did I? The... Uh... Uh... Where did the king go? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Urk <laughs> He lost his king, but the game bugged! Marine Lord doesn't get his 50 pop! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I, 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 what? I was 99% sure that the demo ship... It, it, gets the kill if, if the king is in the transport and it dies oh my god this is actually terrible building a wonder oh marine was building a wonder okay okay never mind we're okay we're all right the reason why i say we're all right is because i don't want a player to lose a game because they didn't have the population that they were meant to have so i don't think he gets the plus 50 pop surely he's built enough houses we can actually check in with one of his villagers and see how many houses he's got He's got 25 houses, and I can guarantee you he's got at least one town center. So he didn't get that 50 pop. So the game did actually bug for him here, which is terrible. You know, we, we try and do everything that we can to prepare for this situation. We knew it was a possibility, and I, ha I had an assurance that it would be okay. In fact, I'm pretty sure we saw earlier on that transport ships did go down, and the king's extra population was awarded to the players. So I'm not sure what's happened in this instance. So maybe we'll have to look back on that for the next round of octagons. Just to make sure we can fix it up. It might be because it was the demos. Perhaps it was because it was the demos. But I can't really imagine that, you know, demos are any different from other ships that are killing it, right? All right. Well, it feels good to be on 60 frames a minute. Marine Lord demonstrating his uh, lumberjack abilities. Mr. Merlin saying, apparently we, we knew that from the last time that Salami got a kill. Are you sure? Oh, Salami got it. Oh, that's right. Oh, so it's the problem is with demos specifically. So when demos get the kill, oh, it, it makes sense. Okay, so the reason is because the demo ship dies, right? Oh, that makes perfect sense. So when the demo ship dies, there's nobody to award the death to. Oh, do we... How can we even fix that? Because... The demo ships give themselves up and then the game is looking at like, oh, who killed the king? And it's like the demo ship. And it's like, what demo ship? The demo ship's dead. And it's like, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, nobody killed the king then. Beastie looking for the undercut. Three sacred sites. One of them in, is quite literally inside the base of Marine Lord. You can see how, how early Beastie's getting out here. Moving out with some of the fastest scholars in the West. Second sacred site already getting taken. Beastie not messing around here. Zin 
I, I guess maybe we can just say that, well, I, if, if you know that there's a king inside the demo, or a king inside the transport, just try and kill it with something else then. There, there might not be anything that we can do. It, it, that might be one of those things where it's a, an in-game mechanic. And there's nothing that we can do about that. I, I can actually see our mod maker in the chat saying, Aussie Drongo, it is a bug with how the game is firing entity kill events. It fires fine for everything but the demo ships. Demo ship is not included as a killer. And as a result, the 50 pop cannot be awarded from king kills. So yeah, it's, it's something that is completely controlled by the game that we can't actually uh, account for. So yeah, very unfortunate there. Really, really sucks to see. But... I guess, I guess as as long as players are aware of it, I mean, I'll be honest. I I don't think I was a I was obviously aware of it in the past, but I hadn't remembered. Maybe we now is a great time to re remind players as a Marine Lord looks to defend against Beastie here. So taking a look at where these two players currently sit, Beastie's on two twenty three population, yet to max out a hundred and sixty six food a minute. But look at the size of the military. Beastie's on 191 pop. Beastie's going for it. He's going for it. Look at this. He's got his roller skates on. He's getting pushed down the highway. This guy didn't even want to come. He's like, come on, we're taking you. You've, you've, you've got 10 elephants inside, mate. You're coming whether you like it or not. Marine Lord's King is inside the keep. Now, does Beastie know the orientation? of this angle, because if Marine Lord reacts quickly, the King pops the movement speed and runs away, and it's all over Red Rover. And I think, I think Marine Lord, it, it, or Beastie's trying to distract Marine Lord here. It's, it's almost like he's saying, come on, come and get me. We're watching the King. The drop is beginning. You can see it at the top of the screen. Bombard immediately alerts Marine Lord. He needs to move these units immediately. The King jumps out, pops the movement speed. No, not even gonna need it. He just walks away casually. Does a little 360. <laughs> Marine Lord's like, hey, how you doing? The great Bombard's coming through. Throws down a couple of additional keeps here. Wants to protect that Azua Mosque. Beastie looking to come through. A nice attempt from the Beast, but I can't help but feel just a couple of knights would have made all the difference. 16 knights out of the gates guarding this, and you almost have a guaranteed kill. Think about it, right? 16 knights come in, sit over here. You en enter in this side. Look how long it's taken Marine Lord to get there. As long as the King's inside, that would have been, it could have been game. Sacred Victory is being approached right now, but, uh, well, good luck to the Beast. We'll say that much. More units moving around the bottom side. He wants to come in and, and contest this wonder. He, I tell you what, he's pretty close to it on the shoreline. A lot of Bombards in here. Eight Bombards. And it looks like he's kind of baiting the forces here. Now, remember, Beastie has deleted all villagers. If this attack is not successful, Beastie is left with nothing. Almost nothing. Holding all three sacred sites. Doesn't actually keep any units on the on the back two. It's only the front one he's focused on. Needs to pull villagers onto this forward sacred site. Transport ship. Where is the king? Where's the king for Marine Lord? He's in the town center. I, I wouldn't even go for the mosque. I'd go for the king. Who cares about the mosque? If you if the mosque survives or dies, it doesn't matter. Your army is dead. But BC, I, I think he... Is he going for it? Does he realize? We're watching Marine Lord right now. BC looks to come out. He needs to run faster than that. Run, Beastie. Run for your life, son. Village is going to get pulled here. Which way are they going to go? He's focusing the town center, but he doesn't have units in position. He needs to be able to focus the king down when it comes out, but the elephants are going to move in. This could be the game right now. Beastie, the king is under attack, and Marine Lord manages to get the king out just in time towards the top side of the base. He's under pressure. The elephants are looking to follow, but he gets through to another keep, and the units are going to get cleaned up. It looks like Marine Lord will be your victor for today, and good game gets called. Marine Lord is victorious in game number two. Whew. I tell you what, I did not expect Beastie making it through to the end of the game like that. An incredible performance from him. Doesn't manage to pick up the victory in the end. An incredible game from Marine Lord. Very well played from him. Absolutely beautiful stuff from the Frenchman. Let's take a little bit of a look at the timelines and see how we're doing. We've got the military count. You could see at the end just how high Urk was able to get. Beastie almost, almost coming close to it. V economic count. No one too crazy in this game. And then finally, 
Let's check in on the units killed. Not a whole lot of units killed this game. 767. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed this game. The next video that's going to be coming up is going to be our half half game, half game halftime show. We're going to be doing the halftime show, the Outback Octagon halftime show, where, we're, where we are going to be awarding the top plays of Outback Octagon with $1,000 of cash each. And Twitch chat is going to be deciding who that money will go to. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.